Okay, listen. Today, out of request from some of my friends on Discord, I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this effect, which I've called the chowder effect, in which um, a pattern or a set texture is stagnant and staying in place while the characters move on it. So that way it looks as if you colored everything in with a different pattern, but in fact, nothing's changed and it really just looks like and it really just looks like this if you just turn off masking so I'm gonna be showing you how to do that I'm gonna be showing you how to do that in blender now first let's just open a normal file just so I can show you an example of it and I usually recommend blender if you want free 2d animation software because although there might be a learning curve it's quite easy and it's very powerful to use and this, um, this is gonna be a very blender centric tutorial but if you do have the ability to access masking layers in your animation program you might be able to transfer that sort of data into yours so basically let's just start out with something simple like just drawing a circle moving across the screen so that should be good enough so we're doing a simple thing like a circle moving across the screen as an example so basically what i would do is we go back to the start and you should lock the lines layer. You should lock the lines layer and go to the fills layer that you're using. And what I do is let's just make a new material here and make it fill. We'll make it red. Now we're just going to fill all the circles in first with the solid base color. So now that we've done that, we have um, something that looks like this. And even though it's not the most complicated animation, it will get the point across. So basically what you're going to do, so basically what you're going to do is we're going to make another layer in our animation program. We'll lock the fills layer and then call this layer pattern just for the simplicity of it. And we'll move that to the very beginning right here. That way it sticks to all of it. Now there are two things you can do. Either you can make the pattern itself inside of the program, which I did for the one I tested on, or you can import a pattern. But the problem with that is Blender has this weird bug at the moment where if you change it too much, the pattern won't. The pattern will cause it to crash and will cause a weird effect, which is a bug where all your backgrounds are pink and you can't fix it. And that means you might have to restart or transfer all your data to a new file, which is very um, labor intensive. So I wouldn't recommend changing it too much and just recommend knowing what pattern you want before you go into it. So what you, you do is you make a new material and make sure you mark fill. And instead of style, you see the style button, instead of solid, you click texture. And there you should be able to import an image to use as a uh, color. So right here, I already have a flower pattern saved. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into the canvas and I'm going to circle the entire thing. And as you can see, I have flowers covering my canvas, which isn't what we want, but we're almost there. So if you go back to the object data properties, there should be a bunch of tabs and there should be a tab that says masks with a box next to it. Click the masks and then open the um, tab and you'll see there's a plus and a minus. Right here, you'd put fills because that was your base color. And as you can see, the fills track on to, that's not right, no, there it is. The fills track on to what you, the red, as you can see. So now that you've done that, when you press play, the pa it moves along the pattern, but the pattern doesn't move along with it. Now, it may be confusing how I just explained it here, so I'll just use one of the files I've already done as an example. So, this one is the one I saved from the corrupted file because as before, before, 
I tried doing it, and what had happened was, it um, when you render it, it renders incorrectly and is flashing pink. And as you can see, if you look at the materials on this corner, you see it's pink even though it's blue. The whole file is gone and basically trash. So I was able to salvage the bits I needed to pull it into this. Now, if you press on your grease pencil object, and you go into, and you go into it, you can see I have. Mm, a few layers here and I have them all unlocked at the moment but we'll just focus on pattern one. This is the pattern I used on top of this and if I turn off the masking layer you'll see that it all stays still and doesn't follow the character. And if you take a closer look I'll show you what the fill looks like. It's just brown. This tool is very powerful in my opinion because with the ability to just do certain textures there's a lot of stylized things you can do and it can make workflow much faster. So I feel as if that should be it for this tutorial, but not really a tutorial, just me explaining what I did. So, um, yeah. Have a good day.